Hey guys, Baden here today and welcome back to part 15 of Let's Play The Sims 1 Making Magic. It's been a hot minute since I recorded this Let's Play um, and I'm really keen to get back into it. Um, I've made a list of the things that I want to achieve in this Let's Play and I'm going to read them out. So basically what I want to do is I want to have Cassandra um, cast a little invisible friend charm so that she can get a little friend. I don't know if we've cast that one yet, but you get like a little like imaginary friend kind of thing, which is a bit of fun. Um, I also want to do the age of instant, have her become an adult, which is really exciting. Um, and then I want to do some of the spells that we haven't yet done as an adult. So obviously the, there's one that's the price of fame where you become like a 4.5 star celebrity. Um, we have to, or like kind of go into the fame career, um, to get the little black roses. You have to get a little stalker. We, we showed that off a little bit in our superstar let's play. Um, but yeah, so I want to cast that cause that's a lot of fun. And then I also want to cast the big question, which is the one where you like make someone fall in love with you and they marry you, which is crazy. Um, I also want to move the family to magic town because it's easier if you live on magic town to achieve a lot of the stuff you want to achieve. Like you can get those magical growths a lot easier if you're on a magic town lot. Um, and then obviously like if we get a beanstalk, we can climb it automatically for living on a uh, magic town lot apparently. So we'll give that a go. Um, and yeah, so that's, those are the other two things I want to do is, um, you know, climb the beanstalk and obviously um, show off some of these magical growths because we haven't, like, I don't think we've got a single one of them yet in this let's play. Um, and then the last one is I want um, a friend indeed, that one, that little spell or charm, whatever it is. So it's going to turn a pet into a human. So we've got little Nigel. We'll turn him into, maybe Nigel can be Cassandra's boyfie. I think I'm pretty sure that's what I said in the, in the last part, but it's been, a, it's been a hot minute since I recorded that, uh, <laughs> since I recorded that part. So I can't exactly remember what I said. Um, but yeah, anyway, so I think what we're going to do, Oh, it's 11, 11. Love that. Make a wish. Anyway, I think what we're going to do is just get the household back on track because it's a hot mess right now. Um, and then we've also got to kind of focus on getting Bella some magic coins because you need it. Like, at l like I went and had a look at the magic townhouses and like some of them are like a thousand magic coins and the other ones are like 1500 magic coins. And then obviously on top of that, you need to spend money. So like, we've got to get like a thousand, at least a thousand magic coins. So that's going to be a bit, a bit grindy. Um, we'll have to do that at some point as well, but yeah, I think I'm going to try and cut out a lot of the monotonous, repetitive stuff um, and try and, yeah, I don't know, because I feel like, especially in The Sims 1, it can get really, really repetitive and, like, takes a long time to, like, me to get everyone's mood back on track. So, like, you don't need to see that. So, I'm going to try and cut that out and make a conscious effort to do that. But anyway, I'll be right back. I'm going to cut and I'll join with you guys in a moment. Alrighty, so I've just kind of cut through the day and got everyone back in a really good mood. Um, I want Bella to jump over and jump over to Magic Town and we need to get some magic coins. So we're going to girl boss our way to just saving up as many magic coins as we can. Um, I think this one from memory. No, I'm trying to remember. It was this one. Yeah, I'm trying to remember. There's certain ones, like when I say ones, I mean like stages that like require more skills. Oh, wait, no, I think I've gone to the wrong one. I really cannot remember if I have done this right. Perform. Well, I mean, we'll see. We'll just see how we go. I think some of them need like creativity. Some need like logic and stuff. I don't know. I think this one's fine. Can't quite remember. No, don't watch. I want to perform. Yeah, no, I think this is the one that we're, we get like maximum magic coins for. Whoa. 25. That doesn't sound right. Give me a sec. I'm just going to cut and just, I just want to check. I'll be right back. Okay. Yeah, I was right. So that's the maximum amount that we can get is 25 each time. So we're going to have to perform. Oh my God. Like four times 10, 40 times to get enough magic coins to buy a house. Like that's kind of a joke. Is there like a quicker way of getting magic coins? I don't even know, but we're just going to give this a red hot go and see what we can achieve. I don't know. Should I Google if there's like a better way to get, maybe I will. I'm going to Google. Uh, I'll let her perform and I want to Google if there's a better way to get magic coins. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I did it. We have 1000. Oh wait, where are they? Oh, I'm on the wrong sim. <laughs> oh my God. Where are they? Here we are. 1035 magic coins, which is amazing. The only thing I'm unsure about is that obviously we've got a lot of magical items on this lot. And if we move, like, I don't think there's any way for us to put stuff like this in our inventories. Like, I don't think we can, I don't think I can just press on this and be like, put it in inventory. Like, I don't know if it, 
allows you to do that. Like you can only, only cast it. So that means we might have to cast some of the spells that we want to use up. So I really, oh, I really wish we could just move and put it in our inventory and just do that down the track. But it means we might have to use the um, age of instant thing now. And also the invisible friend one, which I think is, was it that one? Invisible friend. And then what's this we've got here? Beauty of this. Yeah, we don't really have anything too crazy in terms of, it's just the ones that I was kind of saving for Cassandra, but maybe it is time for her to become an adult, which is very, very exciting. Um, but anyway, I am going to cut because Bella's just gotten home um, from Magic Town and she's a hot mess. So let's get her sorted and then I'll rejoin with you guys and we'll cast those last few charms and I'll be right back. Alrighty, so I think we're ready for Cassandra to cast her invisible friend charm and see how we go. I'm excited. Invisible friend. Oh my god, cute. Do they are they like permanent or like do they go away? Like I kind of want them to hang around forever. I want them to be best friends. They have like a friendship. No, they don't. That's kind of sad. I have a feeling that they're gonna disappear, but like I want them to stay. That's really cool. We'll have to use up some of these as well. Because like we've got so many. And like we can't take any of them with us, which is really sad. All right, hug. Can I give you a hug? Why won't it, why won't you? <gasps> it hates us. Anyway, is what it is. All right, so let's go have a look at the other ones that we've got here. So we've got um, Beauty or Beast Junior, Clone Drone Junior, Age of Instant, and No More Puddles. So I'm pretty sure we want to show off some of the negative um, ones. So the No More Puddles one raises the cast as hygiene, lowers the hygiene to half full of motive is already full. That's not really that exciting. I don't even think we need to bother with that. Clone Drone Junior. What does this one do again? Creates the exact clone of the cast in which we sent to school. I'm pretty sure this one's bugged out. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that we tried that and it was bugged out. So um, the clone will spontaneously combust if the caster is hungry when using the charm. We can try that. Um, and the other one is, oh yeah, we're not going to bother with that. So maybe we'll just wait for her to be hungry and we'll cast that other one. Um, but then Beauty or Beast. That's Isn't that the one that just... um. You can like pick a fun little like avatar for your, yeah, changes the children to one of two costumes. Mm, why don't we just cast that just for lols? Um, just for LOLs, there we go. No, we don't eat food, we need you to get hungry. Oh, you're really tired, go to bed. And then how are you doing, Bella? You doing all right? Mortimer, what's, what's the issue? Can you get out of the... Oh, the dog, oh, this, the dog was blocking them. Love that. Well, can you actually like go away? <gasps> Turn them all into llamas. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I've shown that off before. All sims on the lot were given donkey heads if the charm is cast in the presence of a sim without a wand. Oh, does technically invisible friend not have a wand? Or did someone just happen to be walking by on our lot? Oh, spike. Okay, well, anyway, that was fun. Um, what's the other one that Bella has here? So she's got, oh, that's not beauty or beast. Well, okay. Well, that's the adult version. Like I'm pretty sure you can pick a fun little outfit for, um, to wear. So let me see. It temporarily changes the appearance of the sim, um, into a beautiful sim or a horrific monster. All sims are like we're giving donkey heads. Yeah. Same thing. Um, I don't know. We can cast that if we really want, use that up. Oh, just turn us all into donkeys again. Well, who's the person without a wand? Does Mortimer technically not have a wand anymore? Oh, yeah, he doesn't. I forgot about that. We sold his wand, didn't we? I can't remember. Oh, yeah, we, we sold it because we wanted the negative effects. Okay, I recall now. Stop eating food, Cassandra. She's freaking fatty stuffing her face. And one of the things is you need to be hungry so that we can have your friggin' thing spontaneously combust. I love our little invisible friend here. I hope it stays forever. I'm pretty sure it'll just stay until like we dismiss it. So that's cute. All right, well, anyway, I think I'm just gonna cut until we can cast this next charm and I'll be back with you guys in a moment. All right, so Cassandra's home. I wanna have a go casting this clone drone. Don't eat anything, babes, because you need to have a low hunger. The clone's just gonna spontaneously combust. Is that it or does it have to, like, does it combust later? I don't know. I'm confused. Let's read. Let's read our little clone drone junior and see what has supposed to happen. 
Um, the clone was previously blasted with past is hungry on using the charm. Um, hmm. Well, maybe that, maybe we weren't hungry enough. I don't know. I wanted it to catch fire. Oh, okay. Oh, the screams are not really needed, are they? Oh my God. It's kind of disturbing. Okay. Well, anyway, do we have to like put it out or? Oh shit. We have to put it out. Oh, can we just, I just want to get a good shot of it. There we go. Okay. Well, wow. That was really intense. Love that for us. Um, what other charms do we have out here? Why do we have so many of this? Like, why would I want to do that again? Like, I don't think we need to do that again. Like, I don't think it's needed. We can sell that. Um, no more puddles. Like, I'm sorry. I don't care about that. Thanks. Uh, view your base. Yeah, I really don't care. Age of Instance the one we need. So, oh, I'm scared. I really don't want to mess this up. Let's read the Age of Instance and make sure that everything goes well. Um, all right. Child will revert to a baby if the child's grades are below A minus, or if the child is hungry. This may also change the sex of the child. Okay, so it needs to eat something. Cassandra, go have some snack. And what are your grades? A plus. Too good, Missy. Let's get you in a really good mood because I'm not risking anything messing this up. Get you in a perfect mood. What is going on? Oh, Jesus. Raunchy. Um, all right, you can both go to bed, honestly. And then come watch some cartoons. Make sure you're in a really good mood. Amazing. I kind of don't want her to become an adult. I really don't. Maybe I'll let her have one more last little night as a child and then we'll age up in the morning. All right, I'll be back in a sec. All right, guys, I think it's time. Cassandra, cast Age of Instant. I'm actually... Come on, mum and dad need to be a part of this. No, you need to come... Um... Why is that the only option to make the bed? Come on, come watch. Actually, just wait. I want to make sure everyone is watching this. Come on, dad. Your daughter's becoming an adult. Oh my God. We need to get the best angle. <gasps> Are you watching? Oh my God. They're like, don't even care. Once this transformation is complete, it will be permanent and the household will be saved in its current condition. Do you wish to continue? Yes. Oh my God, Cassandra. Oh my God, she has a big head in that little picture down there. Cassandra's an adult. I can't believe it. We did it guys, we did it. Oh my God, I'm so excited. We need to get her into that, um, like, you know, this one, find an agent because we need to get to level two and 2.5 to have a stalker who drops the black rose and then we can cast a spell to make us level four and a half. So from memory, I'm pretty sure becoming 2.5 is not that difficult. So yay, exciting. We'll, we'll have to do that, but it's kind of, I don't know. It's kind of annoying because we literally just did a superstar let's play, but that's just something we'll have on the back burner, I think. But anyway, I really want to move these guys into a home in Magic Town. And I've had a look at the, um, the homes that are available and I've picked my favorite. Um, it wouldn't let you visit any of them. So I just kind of like watched someone's video. Um, and it was like touring the houses and like this, oh, I'm trying to remember which one was the best one. It was this one by far, without a doubt, this one here. So 90 creepy hollow ever after Oaks, this mansion, hosted many gala events for the most elusive members of magic town society but rest assured all have been sent back to the where from whence they came from these two are kind of smaller ones just kind of single sims so we're going to move back go back here and we've got to move out of our first home we have a lot of money so we can definitely evict we need to evict yes no not bulldoze the house it's not needed Oh my God, I'm so nervous, but I'm also so excited for this. Um, all right, we need to move the goth family in, move in family. Imagine if I just press delete then, end of the let's play guys. All right, let's purchase this house. <gasps> Look at our old house one last time in the background there in that little glitch. And then here we are, it's our new home. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I can't believe we didn't do this any like earlier. What's the camera angle we're going to stick with? Okay. This one, I think. All right. So we've got like a living area down here. 
and then we've got like a nice big kitchen, a nice bathroom there. And then we've got two bedrooms up here. So we've got a master bedroom and then it's kind of random that the kid gets, oh, it's like a shared bathroom, I guess. But I am kind of annoyed because I want Cassandra to have a double bed. Her and Nigel are going to be like boyfies when he becomes like, we turn him into a human, which we need to start working on by the way. So all right, we have a lot of money to finish this house. Um, but I'm just confused. Like we don't have any of our items that we had before. Um, it's just kind of like interesting to me. So I don't know if that guy's going to pop in and like give us our little magic starter items. I'm actually not sure. So we'll have to just kind of wait and see, but oh my God. All right. Well, we need to get some stuff for Nigel. Oh, you can access the little, you can access from that little staircase there. Very exciting. All right. We need to get some pet stuff for Nigel just before we forget. Um, we'll go there, you know, hopefully he won't be a pet for too much longer. Why are the camera angles in this game so bad? I just wanted to see a different angle. There we go. Oh, I don't know what happened there. I hope I didn't place anything by accident. Um, I'm not sure if that guy's coming, so I, I'm going to buy the magic stuff anyway. Um, oh, okay. I don't really mean to place that there, but also don't want this stuff like in our living room. Like I feel like it could potentially be hidden away up here. Um, and then we need to get the, this thing. Yeah. I'm supposed to put it on a table though. And where's the charm maker ever after crafter? Is that it? Yeah. That's the one that makes the charms. Okay. I recall now. Perfect. And then, ugh, why do they not have the table in? Let's just pick a random table. Cute. We'll get this one. I'm pretty sure that's the one that kind of comes with. And then we need to get that. Amazing. All right. So let's go. Oh, not you. You are not a, you're not a witch or a wizard. Let's come and have a look. So the last one that we want to do is the the friend one, the one that makes your dog into a, a human. Um, I'm pretty sure. Okay. So this is the big question one. So that's the one we want to have Cassandra use. Um, so I'll read that one out. So in the end, life really comes down to one question, a conundrum, if you will. The big question, can these two Sims spend the rest of their lives together? Sometimes it seems as if the answer to this question is faded to be no. There are so many boxes of, of chocolate and diamond rings that one Sim can give to another. And only so many times a Sim can handle rejection. So forget fate, forget social expectations and let your magic pop the big question. But take note with magical questions, the bigger they are, the smaller they fall. Interesting. And this is obviously the, um, I'm no, this one's the like price of fame one. This is the one that makes it into like a pet. So let's have a bit of a read of this one. It's a spell. So the spells are up back up the top here. All right. It's, oh, it's not even listed on here. I'm so confused. It was on the one that I was looking at earlier, but um, anyway, I was looking at a different one on the computer and it's called, it's like a one that you need to have the pets expansion installed. So butter, pet treats and clown confetti. So do we have any of those items already? So we have not my, we got butter, we got clown confetti. Pet treats. Where do we get pet treats from? Do you just buy them potentially from like old town? I'm actually not sure. Let me Google it. Oh my God. I feel like half this part is just me Googling things, making magic pet treats. I don't know where to get the pet treats from. So let's have a bit of a read. I'm pretty sure it's literally just going to be going to magic town, but you can never be too sure. It might be a little bit of a, um, a challenge. All right, buy them in Old Town from any pet store. Okay, I was correct. Let's get a phone. Let's purchase a little telephone so that we can go traveling. Um, call, cab, go explore Old Town. Exciting. Let's go. The whole family is going to go, apparently. Cassandra. Oh, it peed on the ground. Naughty boy. I like how this is so much closer to the road. I love that. Out of the lot, you had to like trek it all the way down to go to work or whatever. All right. So a pet store, let's figure out, um, it would probably just be pet shop. Um, yeah, we'll go here. I'm sure they'll sell pet trees. Surely. So much is happening this part. I'm so excited. All right. 
Needs to be in Bella's inventory. We need to go buy pet treats. Let's get two just to be safe. Because I am not risking anything happening. Perfect. Molly the store clerk. Bless her. Oh, we can train. Oh, I was going to say we can train Nigel. But there's really no point. He's going to become a human. So call cab. Go home. And then we need to do the big question one as well. I'm so excited. Too many. We're casting so many charms and spells this part. I'll have to furnish the house off camera. I've also been recording for nearly an hour and we're only 20 minutes into this part because I've had to cut out so much because obviously we've been trying to get those magic coins and that's very time consuming. So forgive me if I'm just like, ugh, not the vibes, but um, potentially we could furnish the house in the next part if I'm really not vibing, but I'm excited. All right, so it's a spell. So we need to add, oh my God, can we actually just make sure that we get it right? Let's just double, triple check. All right, butter. Oh my God, did I just, yeah, I was gonna say, did I just bug that out? Pet treats, butter, and clown confetti. All right, add butter, add clown confetti. I was gonna say, why is it the pet treats? Oh, they praise them high pet treats. Okay, butter, pet treats, and then we'll add clown confetti. I hope it doesn't have to be in a specific order because I've just done that in the wrong order, but surely it's fine. Charge our wand. You discovered a new spell. Check your family spell book for details. All right, let's have a read. All right. All righty. Sometimes just in passing glance, you catch your pet looking at you in a way that is unmistakably sim-like. You actually think for a moment while you're lying alone in bed that they are trying to tell you something, but obviously a figment of your overactive imagination. Well, it's not. They are trying to tell you something. They see you're in need of a true companion. This is kind of weird that she's going to like get in with her pet. They know you'd like to speak to them in a language you both can understand. Even if it's only for a little while, your pet knows a friend in need is a friend indeed. Why was that so hard for me to read? All right. So is this temporary? Because like, I want them to get married. So I need to like figure out if this is going to be permanent give me a sec. All right, guys, it is permanent. I kind of am scared. Let's do it. Cast a friend indeed. Once this transformation is complete, it will be permanent and the house will be saved in its current condition. Do you want... <gasps> that is really scary. Oh, he's kind of cute. Nigel. He's like a golden retriever. He's the dictionary definition of a golden retriever. We love that. Like in Heartstopper. <gasps> oh, my God. Cassandra, go meet Nigel. Oh, why are they, like, hating each other? Go. I want you to get in. Go talk about magic. Stop it. This is so trippy. Oh my God. We need to, okay. We need to make sure everyone has beds because this is getting confusing. So let's take a break from all of the drama and let's get this house furnished. Just with the basics. Like I'm not stressed about it looking amazing and we'll go through. I might off camera, I'll make it look beautiful. But for now, we're just going to get the basics. Um... Let's just get a shower, a nice little toilet. And then I think, I was gonna say, can we eye drop something? But we can't, that doesn't work in this game. Those counters match, all right, cool. We'll get these counters here. They're bloody expensive. And then we'll just get a little sink to slot in here. Um, I think we'll go there. Nice. They need a double bed, they're gonna be lovers, but like, there's not enough room. I'm so sad. Oh, I guess I forgot that you can just, oh, I forgot there was a build mode in this game for a hot second. We could just expand their room, but like, is it going to look bad though? That's the question. We can try and expand and see how we go. Yeah. I don't know why. I know we're kind of ruining the architecture and everything. Oh no. I've got to find a matching friggin' carpet. Guys, this game really needs an eyedropper tool. Oh, where's the red carpet? I can't find it. Is it that? No. <laughs> no, where is the carpet that matches? Oh my God. I just can't be bothered. Well, I'm assuming it's not all the way at the end, unless it is. These icons are also so small. I literally can't see anything. Surely it's like, this is carpet here. So like, why is it not here? Is it that one? I feel like I've already pressed on that one. Is it that one? It's that one. No. Oh, 
Okay. I'm going to do this off camera. Give me a second. All right. So I finished the house a little bit. I love this staircase. It's so cool. Just added a few basic things in. Um, I'm so excited. I cannot believe we have a little boy fee now. All right. We need, is Cassandra even a witch? Like, I'm actually confused. Like, does she become a witch when she, she would, because she was a witch as a child. Anyway, I just want to see if she can potentially cast this spell. So it's the big question one. All right. So what do you need? So you need bees. Oh, sorry. Honey, clown, confetti, and wizard's eyelashes. Could Bella potentially get it ready and then she can charge a wand with it? So what was it again? Oh my God. Wizard's eyelashes, clown confetti. Oh my God. I cannot remember the last ingredient. I literally just read it. What is wrong with my brain? Honey. All right. So clown confetti, wizard's eyelashes and honey. Do we have honey? Are you kidding me? We literally had a friggin' like bee thing, whatever it's called, a bee aviary. Where do you find the the bees, actually? I don't know. Like, you'd think it would be home key. No, that's not it. I'm just having a moment, guys. Like, this is just really confusing me. You'd think it would be in here, in the magic one, but apparently not. Zone recreation. You can play with the bees in knowledge. Bro, where is the friggin' bee, like, aviary or whatever the hell it's called? I'm so confused. My computer is also really low and I can't see anything. Oh, my God, that's a horrible angle. Sorry, guys. There we go. I can see a little bit better now. You probably can't hear me very well. All right, I'm just going to look for this off camera because this is a bit of a joke and I'll be right back. I found it. That took way too long. But what was the other one? Clown confetti. Well... How do you get Clown Confetti again? Can you buy it? I can't remember. I feel like all this Let's Play is, is me just being like, how do I get this thing? Let's Google it. <laughs> but I mean, like, I'm figuring it out with you guys as we go along. All right. Quest reward from Magic Town Merchant. Todd is most likely to give it to you. Not buyable. Amazing. So we'll have to go do a quick little questy poo for Toddy and see what we can achieve. Oh, do I need to buy the hole? Oh my God. Yes. I need to buy the little hole to jump in. I forgot about that. We'll hide it there. Cute. We have like no money. Amazing. Why are they random? Oh, we need to like buy that thing that <laughs> we need to buy that thing so that they don't um have like random dogs come on the lot. This is why I wish we could have brought things with us when we moved because I would have brought all of that stuff with us, but we're not allowed to apparently. So anyway, we're going to jump over to magic town Todd, I'm pretty sure he hangs out here. Oh, sorry, here. No, he hangs out here. All righty. Here he is here, Apothecary Todd. So let's just have a chat, a bit of a chin wag and see what's going on. You look like you might need something special. Tell you what, I'll give you a rare ingredient if you get me a golden apple. I'm pretty sure someone around here has got one. So I need to ask, do I, do I need to ask everyone if they've got a freaking apple? Is that what I need to do? Are you kidding me? Like, are you, I'm sorry, are you kidding me? That's so annoying. Ugh. Okay, good. We don't have to greet them first. Good. Sorry, I do not have what you're looking for. Oh, no worries. Bye. Oh, she's in a bad mood. Why is she in a bad mood? Did she not have it? No worries. It's one of this. It's this one. She's looking sus. No, I'm kidding. Sorry, I do not have what you're looking for. Ask about... Ask Maya. I reckon Maya will have it. Just manifesting someone having it. So I don't have to... Ugh. Did I already ask this guy? I really don't remember. I feel like I already asked that guy. Um, did I ask this guy? I can't remember. What was that? Oh, okay. We just we have absolutely no friends now. Love that. I feel like this lady looks sus. I feel like she's got it. Marthos, do you have it? Oh my god. This is really annoying. Uh, surely someone's got it. Lagos. Labos. I reckon you've got it. Surely. 
It's not giving, this not giving me pop-ups though. So it's like concerning me that like, why do you have the same outfit? I can't remember which one I spoke to. I don't know if it, the interaction is just canceling. Do you know what I'm trying to say? I feel like the interaction is just canceling. She's in a bad mood. Well, why did you come here if you're in a bad mood? Like, do you want sympathy from me? No, like far out. So annoying. I hate people so much. Why are the walls not? There we go. At least I can see better now. Who have we not asked? I feel like we've asked literally everyone. Vice, I have not asked you. I don't think. Sorry, I do not have the item you're looking for. Do you think it's bugged out and it's literally not like registered me asking a few of these people? Because I wouldn't put it past. I've asked everyone. I have asked literally everyone. I've even, I'll ask you again. I feel like I've already asked you. <laughs> I've already asked all these people. Why does no one have it? Maris, I don't think I've asked you. I, why is it not popping up with a pop-up saying that he... <laughs> Rot, I've not asked you. Oh my God. Jeb, I haven't asked you. Shut up with your complaining. All she does is complain and moan about her life and I don't like her. Bella is a pick me girl. You heard it here first, guys. And I don't like her. She's not vibing. Go ask Gretchen. Why is it not having a pop-up saying, like, I swear to God, if you're cancelling this interaction, I'm going to punch on with you. Do you know how she is? Ask myself about the item. Yes, I will. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, it must be, like, someone hidden. This girl has, like, washed her hands, like, 500 times. What has she been doing? Oh, shut up. Pick me. All right, this is not really working, and I'm not happy about it. Should we just come back another time because something's not adding up here. Go ask little Chastity. Go ask Tiffany. We have not asked her yet. Do we ask Claire? All right, I'm going home. I'm actually over this. Um, I'm just going to get it back in a good mood and I'll be right back. All right, so I'm back. Literally all I did was just delete her because I'm not in the mood and even trying to get her back in a good mood properly. I don't feel much like talking, but my friend Maya mentioned something about being in a really bad mood. Maybe I can get you to cheer them up. I'll give you a rare ingredient if you can. All right, well, Maya, where are you? You little sad sack. Come, isn't she our friend? Or no, she's Mortimer's friend, isn't she? Oh, what was that? Anyway. Entertain, joke, compliment, admire, cast. Oh, we can just cast and get happy. Or is that going to glitch it out? Do you think it'll glitch it out? I feel like it will. It's giving glitch. All right, let's just have a random chat with her. Compli I don't know. We already complimented her, didn't we? Talk about magic. She doesn't want to talk with us anymore. Can we cast this get happy thing? Let's just do it. Did it work? I hope it did. All right. Well, anyway, let's go back and talk to Apothecary Todd and see if that was sufficient. Go talk to him. All right. Thank you so much for your assistance. My friend seems to be doing much better now. Here's clown confetti. Is that what we needed? It was. I think it was. Oh my God. Stop it. Yes. All right. Go home. Go home, bestie. And then let's. Oh my God. I'm scared. I don't want to mess this up. I really don't want to mess this up. So I need to read this big question thing. Like, do you need to be in a relationship? Like, how is, how does it work? Like, I actually don't even know. Do you need to be in a relationship or can it literally just be with anyone? And then you become besties with them, aka hubby and wifey. All right. I'm going to cut. me one sec. All right. So it can literally just be cast on anyone. So let's go double check and make sure that we have all of our ingredients. So we need honey, clown confetti, and wizard eyelashes. So did we get honey again? I don't think we did. I'm pretty sure. Oh my God. I'm pretty sure we didn't. Oh, it's really annoying. We'll have to keep harvesting more of this and get some honey. Pretty sure it's like every second time or something you get. Oh, she got some cooking skills slay. 
All right, add to inventory honey. Oh my God, I literally just looked at the spells and I cannot remember the ingredients. I have such short-term memory issues. All right, so it's honey, clown confetti, wizard eyelashes. Okay, let's go. Add honey, add wizard eyelashes, add clown confetti. All right, let's make sure that we do this right. And then she can't charge her wand with it. It needs to be Cassandra. So Cassandra needs to come here. And then once Bella adds the last ingredient. All right, and then you need to charge your wand. I was going to say, hopefully that works. Because, like, if we do it on a different scene, like, surely it's fine. All right. Oh, my God. Where's Nigel, our boyfi? Go cast the big question. Let's do it. Oh my god, I'm so I'm so nervous right now. What happened? Did it work? Did it work? Oh my god! It did work! But like are they gonna go get married? Like, isn't that what was supposed to happen? I'm so confused. When when are they getting married? When is the wedding? Because she doesn't feel anything for him. She just doesn't like him. Is that bugged out? No, come on. Like, why? I'm waiting for them to get married. I'm so confused. Go hug her. Okay, well, why are they not in love? All right, I'll be right back. I'm just going to figure out what happened. I'm so upset that it didn't work. They're supposed to, like, immediately, like, get married. And it didn't work. Oh, my God. I'm so upset. I'm hoping it'll, like just randomly no i'm so upset that's okay at least he loves her now <laughs> oh my god i'm so upset that it didn't work that's actually mate that's ruined my day oh why can't they just be in love can he just like do a little kissy and will she just like hate him yes she will oh my god i'm so angry guys that's such a joke like is it because he used to be a dog is that why it didn't work is that why it's not working? Because he used to be a friggin' pet and it's like, that's kind of weird. You're not marrying your pet. I don't know, guys. I'm really upset. Is there a way that I can like, I don't know. Is there a way that I can like cheat her to fall in love with him? Ugh. All right. There's no way for us to make them fall in love at this point. We could potentially get like a, um, a dragon or something because we need, we could cast a love struck one. The only thing is if we did that, Cassandra would have to be the one without the wand and then Nigel would have to have the wand. So I don't really know how that would work. But for now, though, I'm happy that we sort of, it half worked. They didn't get married, but it half worked. So we'll just cop that. But um, yeah, I think that in the next part, we're definitely going to have Cassandra do her little price of fame things. We have to work on her um, her little fame career um, and try and get her to 2.5 and then she can cast the spell once she gets the black roses, which would be really good. Um, and then other than that, we're just kind of wanting to do the beanstalk and the magical growths. Um, and then I also want to do a little bit of stuff with the baking because I never really got a chance to do that. So there's a few things we still want to do in this let's play. So I'm very excited, but I'm so happy in this part we achieved heaps. So we moved into our brand new home. We did so many charms and spells. So we did the invisible friend one. Cassandra had a little invisible friend. We did our little <laughs> clone drone thing that went badly and then she just burst into flames. I can't remember if we've done that one or not, but it was fun to see again. Actually, it's kind of traumatizing, but whatever. Um, and then what else did we do? So we did the Age of Instant. Cassandra is now an adult. That's literally crazy. And then we also did the friggin' A Friend Indeed in the same part, which was crazy. And our dog became a human, which is crazy. And then we also did the big question all in one part. Like, whoa, how am I going to even name this part? I'm just going to have to pick like the... The most clickbaity one. We'll do the Age of Instant one. We'll call it that. But I'm so annoyed that I didn't like save that for a next another part. But it is what it is. And then I don't know. We could potentially try the that spell again. I don't know. Maybe we could try the big question one more time. Um, but it would have to mean that Cassandra is no longer a witch, and I don't really want her to not be a witch. So it's not a huge issue. We can just sell our wand and then like, we can always just buy it back. We're not like losing any of our like power or anything. So we'll see. We can potentially try that and give it another go. But anyway, I feel like we've done heaps this part. I'm so happy. In the next part, we're just going to finish the house and then 
yeah, keep on working on a few of those goals. But in the meantime, thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you're enjoying it. Remember to leave any comments, suggestions, or feedback down below for me as well. All right, I'll see you guys in the next part and have a lovely day. Bye, everyone.